Hi everyone! In this video, I wanted to show you how to throw a fabulous New Year's Eve party for guests that are 21 and older. We have a bunch of budget-friendly options that are sure to make your New Year's Eve party a memorable one. And the best part is, these are all instant downloads that you can print and create at home within a few minutes. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create five different quick and easy items that you can print and assemble at home. I've designed and used all of these products myself, so I can guarantee these will be a huge hit. But before we get started, if you wouldn't mind clicking the subscribe button, we would really appreciate your support. Now let's get started. The first item we're going to create is a Happy New Year banner. You can display this on a blank wall, and this will double as a photo backdrop area. Feel free to add balloons or shimmery photo backdrop, which I will include the link to everything I'm using in the comment section below. To create the banner, you will need 110 pound white matte cardstock, scissors, twine or ribbon, tape or a hole punch, and of course, one of our festive banner designs. For this video, I'm going to use the smaller version of my Star Happy New Year banner. There is a larger version that is also included in the download, but I like to save paper, so I went with the smaller version. I found it easier to cut the sheet of paper in half first. Then I used my scissors to trim around the star shape. I timed myself while I was cutting out this banner, and it took me about four minutes per page which is a total of almost 30 minutes to get this fully assembled and hung. So from printer to wall, 30 minutes. Once you have your stars cut out, you will want to assemble them on your twine or ribbon. There are two ways to hang this. One is with using tape on the back and one is using a hole punch. I'm going to show you both ways, but in my opinion, I prefer the hole punch method because one, it's easier to assemble, and two, you can adjust the spacing after it is hung. So if you're going to do the taping method, you will need to reverse the spelling, and this gets a little confusing for me. So that's another reason why I prefer the hole punch method. Here you can see that I was struggling a little with trying to assemble this in the tape method. Backwards and upside down is a little challenging for me, but somehow I managed and got it to work. Oh, it looks like it's working. Okay, good. Keep taping. Again, I'm an advocate for the hole punch method and you'll see in a minute just how much easier it is to create a banner in that way. Okay, for the hole punch method, you will want to punch two holes in the top. For this star design, I decided to go right above the black star shape and I tried to make sure that they're in the same spot on each star. Once you have all of your holes punched, you can take your twine or ribbon and thread from the front to the back. You will want the twine to lay along the back of the star, not the front. I like to tie the first hole just to keep it in place a little better, but you don't have to do this. Next, you will want to thread them all in order until you have the wording spelled out. Once all the letters are strung, you will want to keep a few inches on either side of the banner for either tying to two posts or taping to a wall. For the next item, we're going to create a New Year's Resolutions mugshot. For this, you will need 110 pound cardstock, Avery laminating sheets, a dry erase marker, scissors, double-sided tape, and of course, one of our mugshot designs. First, you will want to line up the two sheets back to back. I printed two instead of double-sided just to make sure this was a little bit more sturdy. Once they are lined up, you can use a small piece of double-sided tape to adhere them together, just so they don't slide when you're using the laminating sheets. Next, you will want to unwrap your laminating sheet and lay it flat. Carefully center your pages onto the laminating sheet and gently press down. Next is the tricky part. You want to get your second sheet of lamination paper and carefully cover the top of the mugshot, 
Try your best to line this up, and if you mess up, you can always reprint the PDF again. Once you have it all laminated, try smoothing out the air bubbles and trim off the excess. After you have this all ready to go, you can get a dry erase marker and have your guests write down their resolutions. This is double-sided so they can use two sides or just one. And feel free to create a few of these. You can have some people writing down their resolutions while others are using them for photos. This next project is by far my most popular item that is sold on New Year's Eve. These are my Drink If game cards. These are super easy to print and cut. All you need to create these are the Avery laminating sheets, scissors, and one of my fun designs. So you can create these in two different ways. You can simply print and cut, or you can laminate the cards to make them a little more durable. I'm going to show you how I use my laminating sheet to quickly laminate these cards before I cut them out. So you can unpeel the laminating sheet and place the sticky side up. Then take one of your sheets and lay it face down in the center of the laminating sheet. Gently press down to adhere the cards to the laminating sheet. Then flip over and you can use either scissors or an X-Acto knife to cut these out. I prefer an X-Acto knife just because I find it a little bit faster and a little easier, but it's completely up to you. Just be sure when you're using an X-Acto knife that you're super careful with it. I have a terrible X-Acto blade etiquette in this video. As you can see, I'm never putting it down, which is incorrect. You should always put it down when moving your sheet around. And oh, there, I, I did put the knife down. Okay, so there, that's good etiquette. Always put the knife down. I recommend using these a little before midnight. They're a great way to gather everyone into one area and entertain them as they wait for the big countdown. Also, these can be played with non-alcoholic drinks. I just wanted to mention that for all my non-drinkers out there. Another fun thing that you really need for a New Year's Eve party is champagne. Now, you can either choose to pop it here or you can have these as little favors for your guests but they're just another fun way to jazz up your party and these are super easy. All you need is the 110 pound white cardstock, scissors, a hole punch, mini bottles of champagne, some ribbon, and of course, you'll need one of my lovely designs. All you have to do for this one is simply cut out each of the circles using your scissors, then punch a hole in the top center then using ribbon or string, you can tie the tag around the top of the bottle. Feel free to embellish this however you like. The sparklier, the better. Last, I want to show you how to create these fun resolution cards. These come with an 8x10 sign that you can easily print, trim, and frame. These are fun for guests, especially in the beginning of the night. These get everyone interacting and gives them something to do while the social anxiety still hasn't been quite removed with alcohol. For this, you will need your 110 pound cardstock, scissors or an X-Acto knife, an eight x 10 frame, and of course, one of our designs. So first you can trim your eight x 10 sign and place that in the eight x 10 frame, easy enough. Then you can trim your resolution cards with either scissors or your X-Acto knife. And once you have everything ready to go, you can display the cards with some pens and the sign. This looks great maybe near an entryway or possibly near the bar where that's usually where everyone tends to congregate. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please check out our other video on how to create New Year's Eve photo props which I will place the link in the comment section below. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. We would really appreciate your support. Thank you for watching and have fun designing.